hurricane season 2020 and what you need to know about communication coming up next Welcome back to the series, Hurricane Season 2020. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Today we're going to be talking about a few different communication things that you may want to think about getting and the reasons why. Now first off, we're going to start off with your, your basic old school, because everything is so new now, old school radio. Um, now, for you people out there that don't know what this thing is that you're looking at here, it is a radio, actually has a CD player in it, and it does have a place where you can plug an MP3 in it. Um, but these run off of uh, six D batteries, and if you don't use uh, the CD player, you just listen to the radio, and you're just trying to get some news and information uh, from local stations, around your area during a hurricane, after the hurricane. Um, those will last you a, a good week um, easily. Now, if you're only turning on at a certain time of the day, if you know when they put out the news, uh, top of the hour and stuff like that, this will last you for quite a long time. Um, if you start running the CD player, well, all bets are off because it'll probably last you about a day. Um, but you could pick these up. Nowadays, they're really cheap. Um, I pay, think I paid like 35 bucks for this. Um, like I said, it does have a CD player, MP3. You can plug it into the wall to, to a 110 uh, AM, FM. Um, so, you know, they're really cheap. You, I've seen them um, and I got this one online, but at Amazon, but I have seen them in Walmart. Uh, they have some of the little dinky ones there and you can pick them up for 10, 15 bucks. So it's a good way to get some information so you know what's going on in your area. <clears throat> Another thing is, I purchased this uh, a year ago. It's a Bofang, and uh, tra it's a transistor radio. Uh, you can get your local um, NOAA weather radio and everything on it. The only thing that I did different was, um, I paid 35 bucks for the radio, and the only thing I did different was, is I picked up an, an extended uh, antenna so the antenna is a lot longer you take the strap off and it's out to here and by doing that I pick up um, probably added a good hundred miles to my radius on this radio what it picks up so if you're gonna do one of these the extended uh, antenna is uh, 12 bucks and uh, it's well worth the money if you're gonna buy the radio spend the 12 bucks and and get that for yourself and, you know we all have our cell phones and everything and that you use uh, your batteries will go dead on these things a lot quicker um, and you want to save this in case of emergency because you can call out on this this if you have a ham radio license you can make calls on this um, but what from what I read is if it's an emergency situation you're allowed to talk on here without having your ham radio license only in a emergency now something else that I picked up <clears throat> this little radio right here cost me 50 bucks, but it's got uh, AM, FM, it has long wave, short wave, it has a bunch of different things that are programmed into this thing. Um, Amazon had them on sale for, for 49, I think it was, 95. Um, and I picked this sucker up. Um, it does have a antenna here, um, you know, your standard, but it also has another spot where you, and it comes with it and you can plug it in and it's like an extended antenna. So you could take, and it's probably about 12 feet long. So if you're outside and you could string it up in a tree or something, you're gonna pick up a heck of a lot further than you are in this little antenna here. But you get the long wave and short wave so that you can find out what's going on, you know, in a lot of different places. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about, <clears throat> I picked these up, I've had these radios uh, for 20 years at least. Um, when my son was younger and stuff, and we went to the, go out hiking in the woods, camping and all that kind of stuff, I bought these. And uh, Motorola, um, <clears throat> they're good for up to 10 miles radius, and we've tested that out, and they do work up to 10 miles. The batteries last about eight hours. Um, 
One of the main reasons I'd have these is if something happens during a hurricane and say you have to go outside, a tree fell, something like that, but the hurricane is still going on. Um, you want to take one of these with you and leave one of these inside with somebody else. So if something happened while you were out there, hopefully you'll be able to radio back in the house and let somebody know. Another good reason to have these, instead of using your cell phone all the time, is if and an evacuation is ordered on your area because of the hurricane. Um, you put one in one car, one in the other car, and you can set it up to where every hour you turn it on or every 30 minutes you turn it on or you know if the other car is with you or you know whatever and you can communicate back and forth up to 10 miles. Um, so if you did get separated a little bit you can still talk back and forth and you're using these instead of killing your cell phone battery and you want to make sure you have this in case you need to make a phone call as long as all the cell towers and stuff are up um, that's where one of these would come in handy um, just on the fact that if you had to get an emergency uh, call out you, you don't actually call you find a channel that you could let them know who you are where you're at and everything else and hopefully they would be able to contact the authorities and you know help you out of your situation so i just wanted to cover something on you know your basic you know communications um this stuff is all relatively you know inexpensive it's not going to break the bank to pick any of this stuff up um you always do have your trusty cell phone you know make sure you download you know different apps and things that are on your for your cell phone um, whether you have an Apple or Android doesn't really matter but just make sure you you, you can download um, all types of, of different apps to get you information in an emergency situation um, rather than that none of this stuff as I have been telling you uh, none of this stuff is quote essential so all this kind of stuff is in stock uh, these you can't buy anymore um, but I did see them on eBay a while back because I went and looked to see how much they were charging for these and they were charging like 30 bucks and they looked like they were in pretty good shape. So if you wanted to check them out for the Motorola, um, <clears throat> these are the yellow and black and um, like I said, they had them on eBay. Um, but my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners and until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.